Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today is August 22nd and Google just pushed out its Android 15 QPR1 Beta 1 update. This is where you'll normally see quite a few brand new features such as their feature drop. Now this one will become stable during the month of December. So this update right here, I was able to easily find it because I am already a part of the beta program. I was able to find it just through over the air. If you're not a part of the beta program just yet, I can place a link below the video inside the description where you're able to opt in to become a beta tester. So it just states down here that if you are currently running a beta version of Android 15, starting with AP31, and you want to exit the beta program without wiping your device, you can opt out of the beta program before applying this update. And then you have to wait for the stable version of the release of Android 15. If you choose to opt out after installing this update or any future beta updates per usual program guidelines, you will need to factory data reset your device before installing the latest stable Android version until the next opportunity, which as I mentioned from before, is the month of December. So for me, this update here is 497 megabytes. For me, normally, I never really opt out of any beta programs. I just stay in it, keep updating the phone, keep going with whatever's the latest and newest. So from here, I'm just going to download and install. Then I'll be able to play with this device to see exactly what is brand new. So as I mentioned from before, this is just building on top of the initial release of Android 15. You can see this QPR1, which is available, should be during the month of December. If not, it'd be January. And if you think about it that way, it is basically Q1, like quarter one. So you'll be able to see all of these newer features at the very end of this year, the very beginning of next year. Just a few interesting things that I'm kind of thinking of right now, and that is the fact that the Pixel 6 devices is actually a part of this update. I thought that by now or by the end of this year, they're actually losing support for updates. And so for the fact that they're actually getting, you know, Android 15, this QPR one, which will come out in December, or if it's delayed, it'll come out in January. Uh, so it's just a little interesting to either see either a, this will be the very last update that they ever get, which is the, the update that comes out in December, or if it's delayed, probably January, or if they're actually getting a extended support, maybe for a full entire year, putting it over into 2025. So a little interesting to see what'll happen with the Pixel 6 devices. And it's also interesting that the Pixel 9 isn't here. So you are actually now able to download Android 15 uh, beta 4.2 for the Pixel 9 series, even though they were not launched with Android 15, at least you can be a part of beta there. And then on top of that, the fact that we are not with a stable Android 15 just yet. So maybe that's coming either within the next couple weeks or maybe early September. It's interesting to see that we are getting a beta on top of the Android 15 beta. So just my thoughts there. Uh, my guess is maybe the Pixel 9 came out a little early. Maybe it was released, you know, a whole month before it should have. And then everything would kind of make a little bit of sense after that. So after the update, we are sitting on Android 15 with the security patch sitting on August 5th of 2024. And the build number now is AP41 and it ends with 726. 009. Now one change with this update is a different animation when you first unlock your device after an update. So you'll see this little icon right there. So that little loading animation you'll be able to find when you do big updates like the one we just did here as it's loading to get into the device. You'll also be able to find it if you were to either restart your phone, turn off your phone, and then you have to put in your password. So as it's loading, instead of just showing the wallpaper immediately, you will see that little loading interface. Another small change that happened with this update is if you're inside of some of your settings or some applications and you have your keyboard up, if you were to swipe back, you'll actually see that little predictive back UI. And what'll happen now is your keyboard will go down just a little bit. So it goes down a little bit when you pop it out and then a little bit more when you go even further. So beforehand, it would either do absolutely nothing or the keyboard might actually move over to the left a little bit. Now it doesn't do it in every single screen that I found. So let's say that we just go inside of settings right here. Uh, if we were to swipe back, you'll be able to see that it works there. Now there is a few different areas of the phone and maybe some applications where this doesn't really have that little UI of moving the keyboard down. So for example, this right here was the My Files application where I was a swipe on. You can see that it does not 
you know, recede and go down a little bit. It actually just all stays in place. But I believe what they're trying to go for here is whatever you see in this portion, uh, this little new animation will probably be the new animation for swiping back when you have your keyboard up. Another subtle change with this update is when you take a look at your quick settings and if you press and hold on the quick settings, you know, when it expands, you'll see a little bit different animation. So pretty much what will happen is it'll start from the source of where, where you're pressing and holding. It'll actually expand this box and then it'll open up and you're also greeted with a little vibration. Now, more than likely you guys are watching this video 12 hours or 24 hours after I'm shooting this and there's more developments of what was also released found by other people. So just in case that I don't miss those, write those comments inside the comment section below of what I have missed so far. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,